welcome, welcome, folks, to episode 22 of Rapid Reviews Radio. I am your co-host, Kylie Wild, and I'm joined by Pete Beckett, um, who is... Hello. He's still recovering a bit, um, but... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah but he's, get, he's on the mend, he's on the mend. Um, yeah, I still got a cough, so yeah, yeah, let's just go with it. It's fine. And uh, we're doing things a little bit differently this episode, but uh, it's for good reason. Um, Very good reason. Yes, it's going to be a bit shorter and a bit of a different order, which rhymed, and I didn't mean to rap that. Um, <laughs> You're a poet and you don't know it. I didn't know it. Um, no, <laughs> we've got the whole Rapids Review crew is working on something special, uh, but Pete especially and I are burning the midnight oil, so to speak. So We're in uh, the trenches. We're in the trenches, so keep your eyes and ears open, folks. Uh, we're going to knock your socks off this week. I'm very yep. excited. The whole team, whole crew is excited. Uh, oh, I, you... I'm so excited to just see this. It's going to yeah. be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know, we're, we're in the battle lines, and I'm going to get to see it all firsthand, and yeah. I can't wait for it. So, very, but, very excited. My goodness. But we'll... <laughs> We'll get on. So, like we yes. said, uh, different episode this week, different way of doing things. So, we'll start with you got this, shall we? Yep. Um, yep. And you got this this week. Okay. You got this is our usually two minute segment we do every week that's never been two minutes or very rarely is. Um, yeah. It's mostly about taking some time out to prep yourself for the coming week. Um, mm. And then this week's especially is really to speak to a lot of people out there that are um, might be a little bit anxious. Um, oh, yeah. It's, anxiety is very high at very present. very high. And it's very understandable. Absolutely understandable. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to go straight into it. And basically, I'm going to read exactly what I've recently posted on Facebook and mm -hmm. uh, had a lot of good reception. Uh, so I think that it's uh, perfectly usable in this situation as well. Um and then I'm going to get super Texan because anytime I'm talking about my childhood, my accent just goes real Texan. I can't control it. <laughs> so anyway, a long time ago, I was on a band trip to Disneyland in Florida. I didn't have a dad while growing up. So my band director, Mr. Kelly, uh, had taken me under his wing. Uh, yep. We literally spent, like, I kid you not, hours talking about just... The world, the universe, everything. Uh, yep. I, was, I was very lucky. Um, and uh, we spent hours discussing the world as we saw it. And over the years, he got to know the real me. Um, oh. I later found out um, his son is actually, I believe his son uh, is autistic. And oh, right. uh, yeah, he told me that once. And of course, back then, I did not know I was autistic. That wouldn't even entered my brain matter at the time. But I think yeah. that's why we connected so well. Um, yeah. I mean, anyway. that would make sense. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it was natural I picked the seat right behind him on the bus because we, we took this big, giant Greyhound bus from Texas to Florida, which was like an 18-hour trip. And uh, Wow, well, that's a yeah. long time, long way to go. Yeah, and I wouldn't use the bathroom in public places, so that was a bit tough on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but anyway, uh, so I'd never been to Disneyland, but a few of the others had, other kids around me had, and they were talking yeah. about one of the 4D movie experiences, which I think was Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. Um, and That's cool. Which I don't think even exists anymore. This is how long ago it was um yeah and it had a giant snake like your 40 is where you put the 3d glasses on um and it, so yep. it's a 3d image but then like if there's water or air or something you know yeah. they'll they'll splash water on you and make your skin yeah. vibrate that kind of thing you, you actually get those in like cinema world cinemas now where yeah. you've got four X showings of yes that it yeah it's that it's it's that uh, it was like what it used to be um, but it's yeah. exactly that and um and it, it was like it was very immersive um so they were talking about how there was a scene and there's a giant snake and I think it was a cobra but it doesn't matter because you know it's a giant snake <laughs> like a huge yeah. giant snake and it struck out 
over the audience, you know? Um, oh, wow. Yeah. And it had terrified them quite a bit. Um, so he must have seen the look on my face or something else tipped him off because we got to the park and everyone started to get off the bus and he told me to wait. Um, and he said, Kylie, look at me, which is how he always, he always started his serious conversations like that because <laughs> I, I had eye contact trouble and, uh, yeah. he was big on eye contact. So, you know, he would, that makes sense. yeah, he would like stop me, hold me by the shoulders and, and, you know, make sure I looked up at him, um, mm -hmm. eventually down. Cause I did eventually get taller than him, but, <laughs> um, but he was like, Kylie, look at me. It's like okay and he's like i want you to remember something now this is the important part if you yeah. see anything that makes you afraid like that movie they were talking about just close your eyes you don't have to watch it you don't have to be afraid just take the glasses off close your eyes and you'll be fine you know all right you'll be all yeah. right you got it and i was like okay you just kind of like you know you stick that in your brain you go on and yeah. uh, so I went on my way, uh, and I did end up going to the 40 experience. And yep. yes, it got to the snake part. And yes, it was massive, and it rears back and strikes at the audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember as it was like going to that, I was like, I, I won't be scared. I'm, I'm brave. You know, I'm Kylie. Yeah. Nothing scares me. Because I, I don't have a lot of fear, but sometimes I can be a little bit... Uh, a little bit over the top. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm big and bad. No one can scare me. And uh, at the last second, I freaked out because it's mm. a massive giant snake and I covered my eyes. Yep. And uh, and I like, I covered my eyes and kind of bent my head down. Like I was sitting in uh -huh. a theater, a cinema chair, you know, but, you know, kind of curled up in it. And yeah. I heard like everyone around me squeal and, you know, like, scream out and gasp and all that stuff and then yeah. when they got quiet i took my hands away and looked up and it was over and uh mm, nice i say all that to say that right now in the world the virus that is happening the pandemic it's it's a scary thing it is a scary thing that is happening oh yeah of course it is. yeah and i'm not saying all of this to encourage like ignorance or you know uh encourage denial um yeah because i do believe you should stay informed um of course yeah absolutely stay you know scientific you know wash your hands cough in your elbow they're saying keep a six foot distance which is you know from another human which is you know perfectly fine by me <laughs> yeah of course <laughs> but uh but you know just use your you know, use your basic common sense but having said that, I know that a lot of my friends and family are very anxious. Um, and so it's okay sometimes to turn off the news and not look at it. It's okay it's, to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the principle of see no evil, hear no evil. Yeah. Um, you know, it's okay to put away the social media stuff for just a little bit. Don't read it. Um, it's okay to put on a, a, a music playlist or a YouTube playlist, read a book, do some work around the house, um, draw, sing, play games, <laughs> you know, whatever yeah. makes you feel better in that moment. Because the bottom line, it's just like Mr. Kelly told me, you don't have to watch it. You don't have to be afraid. You'll be all right. And exactly. Yeah. And just take it moment by moment. And because anxiety I think a lot of us are very familiar with anxiety and uh, it's one of those things that kind of festers and grows the more you think about it. <laughs> yeah, so, it makes things so much worse when yeah. you see people just panicking constantly and, yeah. you know, doing some sometimes normal, rational people can become a quivering mess yes. at, the, at the news. I mean, even to mm -hmm. the point where I've seen it firsthand where People who are usually pretty well together are now putting thermometers under their uh, armpits and checking their temperature yeah, constantly. It's that, like, yes, I, yeah, it, yeah, it's it's insane to be honest. But just use your better judgment. Just do what do what you're advised to do. Just mm -hmm. you know, keep yourself away. Mm -hmm. You know, wash your damn hands, people. <laughs> yes, you know, yes. it's not common. It's common sense, honestly. Yeah. you know. Yeah, you know, keep yourself. You know, don't touch your face after you've touched a public. You know, 
public contact area, yeah. you know, everyone's going to touch. It's quite obvious, but just just use a better judgment. It's just easy, yeah. really. Yeah, you know? and and like I said, when you do start to feel that bit of anxiousness, because I've got I've got people around me that uh, I can tell they're very very anxious, and yeah, uh, so I'm just like, you know, play a game or you know, go exactly. read something or something. Take your mind off it for a little bit. Don't be in denial, yeah. but just give yourself a break. Yeah, and... it's like the same people at work. At any time, mm-hmm. anyone coughs, they're like yes. literally staring at like the yes. you know, like bladed daggers. It's like oh, exactly. get away from me. Exactly, and people, you know, when they panic and they're not in their right mind, um, there's like okay, I'll tell you this very quick little story, and then we'll move on. But um, okay, like one time, uh, my mom went uh, whitewater rafting. Uh, which oh, I, nice. I really want to do that, but I was way too young at the time. Uh, of course. And the raft tipped over. And Ooh. she fell in the water, and she had a terrifying fear of drowning. That was her biggest fear. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, that that would be horrible, because that's, like, strong currents would just push a, you underneath yeah. the water, wouldn't it? Yes. And so she, and she went underwater, and my mom didn't really, she wasn't a good swimmer. Um, she... Yeah. Just had a fear of water, but also a sense of adventure. So it kind of would uh, contradict itself. Um, so she that fell... is kind of unusual. Yeah. 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 So she fell in the water, started panicking immediately because obviously, I mean, she had a life jacket on, but it didn't matter. Uh, she went pure panic mode. Yeah. Uh, her friend that was with her, it was a whole group of them, but her yeah. friend that was with her, he was a very strong swimmer, a very athletic guy. He was coached. Um, so he, you know, she grabbed onto him immediately and ended up pulling him under the water. And yeah. so he, thank goodness, was strong enough that he pulled them to the surface and he said, uh, my mom's name was Kathy. He goes, Kathy, I need you to stop panicking. You're going to drown us both. He was very authoritative or whatever. And yeah. immediately she said the sense of calm came over her and she just let like, like her body just kind of go, you know? She stopped trying to yeah. control the situation is really what I'm trying to get to. And he was able yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to pull them both to shore and they were fine because she had a life jacket on. She was never going to drown. But the more she fought and the more she tried to take control of this, the more she panicked, the worse she was making it for them both. And uh, yeah. so anxiety and panic, it can lead to further anxiety and panic, you know. So it's better to just let it pass through. Just, just, just let it go through. It's we're going yeah. to find, we're going to come out of this. Um, of course, we are. Yeah, absolutely, and it's going to be fine. And and things, and just, yeah. just do something you enjoy this week. Just give some time to yourself. You yep. know, even if it's even if it's like reading those like gossip magazines. So say you're into that. Just, just have your yeah. little moment. Go, go into the corner, read your gossip magazines, and just enjoy it. Yep. Don't feel bad. Don't, don't do that. Oh, of course not. Yeah, and we'll all get through this because, as always, you've got this. <laughs> yep, and we're. Uh, I'm going to pre- preface this by apologising for a later news story that actually will have to cover this, so okay. it might not help with the anxiety level. <laughs> yeah, but it, but it is. It, it is, is happening. News and yeah, exactly. News and that, we have to sort of cover yeah. it, unfortunately. So we can't be in denial, uh, but we can be practical. So yeah, there we go. Absolutely. So. Okay, yeah. so we'll move on to some news stories, shall we? Moving on, yes, absolutely. Yes, so we've got a lot of news stories this week. So mm-hmm. the, as of the fact with the Relax Fit episode, we're just going to cover them, yeah. and we'll go into we'll deep dive into the the last topic, uh, the last news story, mm-hmm. a little bit more because there's been a lot of stuff going on with yes. it. So we'll start off light. Yes, CD Projekt Red have begun work on their next game. Which... And I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get the honk out for this one because no <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, good old goosey honk. Um <laughs> <laughs> But I mean this is obvious, isn't uh, it? It is. I mean, it's so funny. I I do sometimes wonder if people don't know and they, they might not, that companies, game publishers, game developers, they're not usually just developing one game. It's usually simultaneous titles going at different stages. Um, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> it it that's not a surprise. 
Yeah, of course. Uh, but it is funny that when people treat it as that. And yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh um I I don't know, I don't even know what to say. It's like, well, good. They need to be. <laughs> yeah, I because mean Cyber uh Cyberpunk is going to be, I forgot Cyberpunk's coming out this year, isn't it? Yeah, September. Oh, no, I, 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 to be year? honest with you, I can't wait. Honestly, I um, I, as I, a fan of Cyber, Cyberpunk twenty twenty role playing game, like tabletop yes, game, exactly. I am really looking forward to this one. And like I said in the EGX episode, so call back mm-hmm. to old episodes. Boop, boop. Uh, watching that game, I demo yes. was just outstanding. It sold me on that game. Like you can give me as much Keanu Reeves as you want. <laughs> like I'm not going to get excited as much. Unless uh-huh. it's Bill and Ted, um, <laughs> which coming out this year, yeah. Bill and Ted face the music. I can't wait. Oh, goodness. But it was once I saw that demo and saw the yeah. amazing stuff that you could do with the, you know, the different routes that you could take in doing it, whether it's stealthy, the different builds, you know, you could have. Mm-hmm. It sold me. Absolutely sold me. It is really pen and paper RPG style in a video game. And I can't wait to see that. Yeah, so. absolutely. I, I think that, you know, usually we're pretty good about calling stuff. Um, I think I said at the end of the year episode last year or the beginning of this year, um, I said yeah. that it was going to be a, a tough year for game releases because we have a, a new console coming up at the end. Yeah. Um, I may have to go back on that. Just check back with me <laughs> yeah, in November. I... I... I, I think I'm going to actually have some major contenders for game of the year this year. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't disagree with you. I'm putting so I was cyberpunk just... in that in that pool. Yeah. That. yeah, 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 yeah. I was just having a look at a news story here to do with that, and they haven't really specifically said what they're going to be working on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because I mean, probably uh, four years out before they have anything definitive. Well, I would think. Well, considering this game has taken them nearly seven. Yeah, that's you know, true. I don't. Look, CD Projekt Red, you do great things when you're <laughs> given time. Yes. Just take as long as you need. Don't let any any yeah. fans on Twitter say to you to rush something out or whatever. Just no, because that first just do what you do best. Those first teasers of Cyberpunk was no. I was like, oh, I'm not playing this game. This this they were a bit janky. Were, I'm not gonna. Yeah, lie. yeah, it wasn't a good direction at all. But yeah. now, oh, yeah, yeah. It was excited. the it was when they released the E three demo behind the mm-hmm. behind closed doors yes, one. Yes, that That's one. Where I started looking at it and mm-hmm. I went, "This could be something special." Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And, but I still wasn't excited. But yeah, now I am. I, I'm yeah. Worried. And with the fact that we covered it uh, last week, with the fact with the smart delivery, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, that, that makes it even more promising because obviously yeah. they're they're the first confirmed game that's going to have the Series X integration. Yeah. Which will be amazing stuff. Yeah, I, I just, oh, yeah. I mean, what better game? That that just that's completely on point. Uh, yeah. For that. Okay. Yeah. I think we covered CG Project Red enough without any definitive game news, really. <laughs> yeah, in that exactly. sense. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> so we will move on to some very strange Nintendo news. Yes. Because they had two announcements this over the last couple of weeks that mm-hmm. have finally come into fruition. So Nintendo announces a partnership with Lego for a, a Super Mario playset. Uh, the trailer dropped uh, this past Thursday. But they also announced a partnership with Levi Jeans. Yeah. Which was in the, in the works for a couple of weeks, I think. But they finally shown some of the stuff on there. Um, can I preface this by saying I, I, I think we all know my love of Mario. Yes. We all do. Mm-hmm. The Levi set is hideous. <sighs> <sighs> I am so disgusted by it. I, I, I I'm, <sighs> okay. You're indifferent. No, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, um, okay. Uh-oh. Yeah. I, I need to get a cough button. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I had that last week. It's I wasn't. Mute. I know I wasn't quick on the draw on the mute. Um, <laughs> but I do not care for. No, I don't care for it. Um, but I, I 
think I have some cheesy reasons why I don't care for it. Oh god. I don't yeah. know. It's it's dumb. It's so dumb. Um <laughs> Okay, we don't want to be gatekeepers. I I, I get that. No. I know that that's a a very big deal and I mm-hmm. do if if I ever am gatekeeping, I want our dear listeners to call me out on it because I'm always about learning. Yeah, but of course. I feel weird that gaming icons have become so mainstream. Yeah. That, yeah, people will be I mean, it's kind of, okay. We I, had this discussion in the we week. We did. We you? did. Um but actually, now that I think about it, I think I've got a better description of how I feel, which is, I don't know if it happened over here, but in America, uh, round about um, after Space Jam came out, for like oh, yeah. the next 10 years, everyone was wearing Tweety Bird shirts and Sylvester shirts and Martian... The Mar- Mar- oh. Mar- yeah, the Martian... Yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I saw a lot Marvin of that. Marvin and Martian, yeah. And, which, okay, I do have an affinity for Marvin the Martian, but... Uh, well, why do you think that is? Because he's a weirdo, he's an alien. <laughs> because you think you're from another world exactly. as well. Exactly. I think he's from my home planet. Um, <laughs> um, I also, have, I love Gonzo, too. I always have, since I was a little bitty. Um, in the Muppet Oh, is that why you like Gonzo journalism, too? <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but... To get back to, to this, um, it felt, oh God, it's just going to sound so judgmental. I don't mean it to, but the no, more just... you saw Tweety Bird on a t-shirt, the more it kind of cheapened the brand. Yeah, exactly. And I, and it's not that I feel like Nintendo should be oh so holy and untouched or whatever, but yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think that I'm in the right on this. I just don't have a positive feels towards this. Look, I get it because obviously yeah. they tried to do this a long time ago. Yeah. Getting out into the cinemas by having the Super Mario Brothers movie, which was a universal flop in 1993. Yeah. Um, I mean, it did good numbers, but the film wasn't very well regarded. And then they sort of stepped back from doing that for mm-hmm. a long time. So they're, they're sort of reviving this. With the fact that they're doing the Universal Studios, like Super Nintendo World mm-hmm. uh, stuff, with um, Illumination Studios obviously doing a Mario movie in the next couple of years as well, they're obviously trying to expand the brand a lot further than just the video games. Yeah, uh, and I can they're trying to that. this. To, yeah, try to get this into new audiences as well. But let's be honest here: what person who doesn't play games has not heard of Mario yeah. before? Yeah. Like, he's Everyone. the most famous gaming character of all time. I, 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 I'll probably get some blowback on this, but I would put Mario up there with Mickey Mouse. Um, I just would. I know, I know, people are gonna be very. I wouldn't say it's the same thing. That. I would say, I would say it's on a similar sort of well, scale. Yeah, Red, not like Red more Red famous than Bugs Bunny or something. No, no, like no, that, really. I, definitely. But I, I, I more mean just on recon and um, you know recognizing and um, recognition. Um, yeah. By the way, dear listeners, I've had six cups of coffee. <laughs> yeah, you are all over the place. I am. My words are going to get yeah. twisted. Um, but I'm, I'm on four cups of tea at least. Yeah, to be fair. exactly. And we've, we've got long nights ahead of us. <laughs> yeah, we need to but, need to prep for this. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be so good. But uh, I I think I even remember having or seeing. Yeah, there was there was a commercial when I was itty bitty. Um, yeah. For Super Mario cereal. Oh, oh yeah, because they recently bought that back not long ago, didn't they? I, I had a box of that. That was amazing. Yeah, it was like a Nintendo Super Mario. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh what, my. Where did I pull God. that out of? <laughs> uh, the deep recesses oh of my your brain. Gosh. Yeah. Wow. See, Nintendo. Well, I, I, been I definitely forever. could bring out the swing your arms from side to side. <laughs> <laughs> yes oh my gosh yeah. see when super i super mario brothers super show okay. oh god what a I... trash that was <laughs> uh, listen listen i know again here we go with the controversial statements um so yeah back in the old days kids they had what was called a vcr and <laughs> <laughs> what's um, one of those what's it's one like of those? a cassette player yeah, like you know for dvds oh. but not <laughs> 
Oh, have you got a tape deck? What the hell's a tape deck? <laughs> <laughs> but like, I I'm assuming it was the same over here, but uh, over in the US, you could get like just old stuff, like old TV shows, old cartoons and stuff for yep. like cheap as nothing. Um, and I think my yeah. mom got us like it had the um, Super Mario show on it. I want to say there was yep. like three or four episodes per tape. It, it doesn't matter yeah, because it probably, yeah, it probably was because uh, they could only fit like me- uh, a yeah. like maximum of about two hours on them, couldn't they? Yeah, and, so that would make sense. But the thing that I remember the most, and no one's going to agree with me, absolutely no one will, but um, is the Legend of Zelda that they would show, like it would be like the last 10 minutes or something um oh i loved it i loved link and zelda's personalities and relationship and link would yeah. go well excuse me princess i oh, love that so much oh, that and... is quite meme worthy at least well see so that was my very first exposure ever to link because yeah. it would be another year or two before i could you know, I was like old enough to actually play around with the games, and yeah, of um, course. And then I remember uh, when uh, what was that first the sixty four uh, Link uh, uh, Ocarina of Time Ocarina of Time came out, and I was like, "That's not Link in my head," because I was like, "He's a yeah. little blonde cartoon," and I'm sorry, he's Link. a child. Yeah, and Link is a tall elf with brown hair, and I love him. <laughs> Yeah, of course. I was like six, I think. And uh, so to this day, now, if I probably went and rewatched the old Link and Zelda cartoon, it would probably be terrible. But I just remember being a kid and loving it. Absolutely loving it. That's fair enough. I mean, as a kid, I absolutely loved the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, but I've gone back and watched it recently. Is it it bad? Is it bad? It's hot garbage. (laughs) I have to do that. It's such a disappointment as well. Oh my gosh. I'll have to do it. Because I do remember doing the Mario. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, do the Mario. So <laughs> oh, my God. I hate that. I do really oh, hate it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Time yeah. Different. Yeah, I remember. So you said about getting these, uh, these VHS yeah. tapes of them. I remember recording them straight from the TV. Because <laughs> oh I'm a boomer. God. Wow, that's right. We could do that because you can't. Everything. Oh, it's such a different well, you world. Can now. You can yeah, now because, because it's digital. Of Evo and all that. Yeah, exactly. And then, but like, yeah, I that, have a capture card. Old and, oh my gosh, that is so yeah. crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. It's setting up those uh, those those number blocks in your TV, like oh in your planner, gosh. to actually like record a, a certain time on the VHS. That oh my so god, so funny. Oh yes, because my mom used to record soap operas. And I remember, yeah. oh my gosh, so my mom used to record soap operas because she'd work and want to come home and watch them. And uh, yeah. I remember finding a VHS tape. Now, this was after I'd grown up. And it was from yeah. like the early early to mid-90s. And the commercials oh, nice. were on there. And I was just like, this is insane. Yeah, that was, that was a great, that was the thing about it. Was obviously, when you recorded it straight from the TV. You get the adverts with it yes. as well. And it's yes. So annoying because you just fast forward them anyway. Yes, that was, exactly. That was kind of why you recorded it instead of actually watching it live <laughs> because you didn't want to have to record it. Oh, like you didn't want to have yeah. to watch the adverts. Oh, See, they knew. So they knew straight away that everyone didn't want the adverts. That's advert. right. That's right. Oh my god. I mean, that's look so at funny. it now. Like you know, you oh. get certain players that have adverts and you can't skip them, and everyone's just like, "Oh my god, I can't skip adverts. What is wrong with this?" <laughs> I, I tell you, I no lie, and this is so bad coming from someone who's an entrepreneur, but I, mm-hmm. my YouTube viewing has gone down because they've added so many ads. Uh, yeah. And I won't so, use an ad blocker just because I feel like a hypocrite if I do. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I, I get that. <laughs> and then, but- but I also yeah. don't want to have to pay YouTube fifteen pounds a yeah. month to to get YouTube Premium just no. so I could skip ads. No thanks. Nope, nope. And they're yeah, they're making the ads unskippable now. And some of them they some are. Some of them, yeah. So I'll get one that's like uh, you know, one of two ads playing. You have to watch to the end, and it's like, uh. Yeah, I've had that. I was watching yeah. a video on uh, Red Dead the Redemption Two yesterday. Right. Yeah. Uh, there's a channel that I'd recommend called Naked Jakey. <laughs> 
sweet. Um, he's awesome. He did a deep dive when when Red Dead Redemption Two came out about the outdated outdated mission structure. Right. And I, I'm, I I swear to God, I got like six adverts throughout the whole oh, thing. It was ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And it's a thirty minute video. Yeah, no, no, no. Annoying, nope. so annoying. Yeah, but we kind of we've obviously we really did. <laughs> we're yeah. very, we're just very hyped up. So uh, we hope we're giving you yeah. good energy, people out there, for this. Of week. course, you know. Yeah. But what do you think about the Levi's partnership? I I don't like it, and I don't like it for probably the wrong reasons. I. I think I don't like it for hipster reasons because yeah, I, I would agree. It, yeah, I don't like it going mainstream, and I know that's yeah. wrong. I know, but it's, I no, I it. get it. <laughs> yeah, because we had to, like I said, we had this conversation in a mm-hmm. week because I had a situation. I'm yeah. not going to reference who it was or where it was, but yeah. there was a person wearing an Atari uh, shirt, mm-hmm. to which I thought this guy probably doesn't even know who Atari are, right. and I'm sitting there like. I know yeah. exactly who they are. I've played a 2600 like, and a 5200, mm-hmm. you know. Oh, yeah. But this guy cl- probably doesn't even know who they are. And yeah. it's annoyed, it kind of annoyed me a little bit. But, I mean, cat, yeah, and all that. But it doesn't matter, really. I mean, each their own. You know, if I you want to use it as a hipster thing, then cool. It only helps advance gaming and a little <laughs> bit further, I guess. That's what I'm trying to see. The kind- Okay, like... Again, a little off subject, off topic, but when I was a teenager, and same thing for you, um, comic books were not cool. Uh, no, they weren't. I mean, Spider-Man, the movie, the first one, the original one, um, Tobey Maguire. Yeah, the 2002 one. Yeah, he was like about it. And then the X-Men movie came out, and it was terrible. And... Um, oh wow! You're gonna upset a lot of people with that. I know, but I can't help it. It it is it is what it is, and we all know your love of the X Men uh, anyway. Yeah, they are they are my team, and um, yep. To be fair, the first one wasn't terrible. I was just slightly disappointed in it, and then it just went downhill. Yeah. There it, there was no redemption yeah, after that. But having said that, um, I remember thinking. When I first started to see the comic, mostly Marvel, um, merchandise start kind of, you know, branching out and being bigger and more mainstream, my first thought yeah. was, this is great. Um, because a lot of oh, stuff, of yeah, I was like having to make my own stuff, you know. Um, mm-hmm. And so the idea that stuff started being commercially available made me very happy. But then what yeah. happened, and I, I'm... I'm worried this could happen, but I kind of think Nintendo's very protective as a company. But they always have been. Yeah, well, Marvel started to become watered down. Um, they yeah. the the storylines in the comic book started to reflect the movie, which was never those weren't even the same uh, canon. And yeah, they complete. They had a completely separate um, continuity, universe, yeah. didn't they? They did. You know. I mean, the Marvel Universe, we all know about the 616 universe. Yes. And, and they've now actually folded all of that into the into the movie the side cinematic. as well. Yeah. To the point where they've actually mentioned 616 in one of the movies, I believe. Ugh, would not surprise me. Because I was very disappointed that... Uh, so the X-Men are usually known for their kind of colorful costumes. They're like... They used to be like really old school kind of... Well, I mean, they had the blue and gold team, you know, and, and yeah. the colors were kind of bright and out there, and I just loved it. Well, then the movie came out, bam, they changed all the costumes to black leather. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. I hated that, yeah. But just look at um, X-Men First Class, where they went yeah. back to the 60s with that, and they gave them the classic uniforms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was clearly done as a bit of a marketing push for it them. It was. But it was actually cool, and it to be fair, cool. like... You know, Michael Fassbender is an amazing oh. Magneto, to be fair. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I also I, think James McAvoy is a really good Professor X as well. Yeah, it took me a while to get used to him, but I actually kind of like him. I think it's because I like him outside of movies, yeah. like, you know, interviews and stuff, that it made me like him a yeah. little bit more as Professor X. I, I, but, I would agree. Yeah. And again, I we're def- way off to- topic, but <laughs> my point <laughs> being that as... The X-Men Marvel, really, became more mainstream. It became 
more muddled, more watered down, more people owned it as a yeah. as a property. And but I, Nintendo's pretty good. They're they're pretty. You know, they they own Mario. I don't think Disney's gonna yeah. buy Mario at any time. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> I really hope not. Oh I'm my really gosh! Um, I. I I've just had a thought on this, actually. Mm-hmm. I yep. mean, Nintendo did the partnership with your Uniqlo recently, didn't yes. they? Yes. Uh, a little over the last couple of years, and I picked up far too many shirts than I even want to imagine. Uh-huh. But I think that I think this has probably come off the back end of the the yeah. utter success they had with this. Yes, yes, I I definitely think so. And uh, it's very weird. Also, um, there's a chain of stores over here called Premark. Um, Oh, I don't know that we have anything comparable except maybe the clothing section of Walmart in the U.S. I uh, probably I would liken it to probably uh, Walmart I uh, think clothing so. section in America yeah. or yeah something like that. Very affordable, cheaply made, cheaply sold uh, yeah. goods. Um, and I mean, you know, hey, I like it. You know, when 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 I you know need a. When I don't need anything fancy or something that's going to last, I go get that. Well, for, like, the last, I don't know, six or seven years, they've been doing a lot of nerd culture type t-shirts. Lots of Star Wars, lots of Marvel, lots of all that sort of thing. Even to the point where I've now seen them doing sweatshirts of PlayStation. That's where I'm going. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know how they did it, but, oh, yeah, they also, okay, now this did, okay, this did annoy me. (laughs) Pre-Mark started selling nasa branded clothes oh yeah i saw that as well now why that bothered me is because i grew up around houston in texas yeah which is which is the epicenter of nasa space center texas um yeah and i've been to nasa many times because i used to want to be an astronaut and turns out you have to be (laughs) sorry (laughs) (laughs) um but it turns out to be an astronaut, you have to be kind of small. Um, it's it's very similar to the Navy. Yep. You, you have yeah. to be Got to have very yet. low center of gravity. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and I, don't, I get it. I get it. Um, and then, but I still had a love of it. And then you go to the NASA gift shop because they mm-hmm. were a private funded entity. They did get some money from the government, but not a lot. Yeah. So they had to sell merchandise. And it was super expensive. You had to be practically rich to own a NASA shirt. If you saw someone yeah. at school wearing a NASA t-shirt or sweatshirt, you knew oh, they paid bunches of money. And yeah. now I can just walk into Premark and for like two quid, which is about four dollars, give or take, I can yeah. get a NASA actually permissioned, uh, trademarked shirt. And I don't know that shouldn't bother me, but it does. I'm uh, just like no, but. But that was always part of the appeal of it was yeah. being able to go to the space center, going to see yes. all the cool stuff there, and then going to get a shirt and went and you yeah. could go in and with bragging rights and go, look, I paid thirty dollars for exactly. this shirt. Exactly, and you're not wrong. It was always between thirty and fifty dollars, and uh, oh, that was I just pulled that number yeah. out of my butt to be you, fair, you and I've cost well. price of it right. You did quite well. Um, but I mean, it was like, well, you could only get the shirt if you had been because you just couldn't buy it yeah. anywhere else. Um, and I guess, I don't know. That feels like gatekeeping too. I don't know. I just, uh, I I'm don't not, know either. I'm not a fan of mainstream branding. Oh God. I yeah, guess. I get it. I get yeah. it. Yeah. Completely understand. It's just yeah. like, I, I don't know. So we haven't really spoken about the Lego set, but well, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's creepy looking. That's all it I'm going to say. It's so weird. Okay. When the announcement was made, I truly, I think I messaged you right away and I went like flat face with just like, they've they're announced. Yeah. I was like, what? They're announcing a Lego partnership. I thought yeah. it was going to be a Lego Super Mario game. Not to say that that yeah. isn't on the horizon, but... And I was like, well, why would they do that? And then you were really excited. And then it's because, Seriously. yeah, it's because you were like, oh, I'd love to have a Lego set that is Super Mario, you know? Um, yeah. And then they showed it. And yeah, I, it's like an interactive Lego set with like a display that's on Mario and it's really I strange. Yeah, I don't understand it. I I don't know. It doesn't even look uh, Lego to me. Yeah. 
I actually showed it to my girlfriend yesterday, like the video of it, mm-hmm. and she laughed and said, "This is ridiculous." Yeah, it. I mean, I mean, okay. Lego has a look, <laughs> and this yep. looks more like the the like kid Lego sets. Now, I will be very honest and say I don't know that much about Lego. I know that it has different branches, you know. Of course. Um, I love Lego, but not not to the extent that I you know know that much Mm. about it um but this really looks like a like the little playmobile sets the little like for the younger crowd yeah i agree and i don't know that's disappointing because okay look i will not lie when they came out with the simpsons lego i was like over the moon i was so excited i still me too i still can't afford to buy it but (laughs) (laughs) But I loved it, and I admired it, uh, and I kind of thought Super Mario would go that way. Yeah, they uh, didn't. No. They really didn't, and I'm so disappointed. Yeah, it's they're very strange looking, and I don't understand the mm. display thing, and I don't know, interactive yeah. stuff. But uh, I mean, Honestly, I was all in for this when uh-huh. they first announced it, and then I looked at the trailer, and I went, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Which is weird for me to say. How do you think Mario relates? Yeah, because um, yeah, you you were you were absolutely uh, uh, excited, uh, whereas I was like mm. skeptical. <laughs> uh, skeptical. Probably yeah. right to be skeptical. Yeah, well, to be fair, I did not think it was a Lego playset. I really didn't because when you announce yeah. Lego in a video game, come on, come on. Yeah, it <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I love <coughs> the Lego games. Um, I even yeah. love the uh, the Lego, like, not themed uh, video games. Just the Lego branded, you know, their own stuff. Oh, yeah, they're pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Like, Lego Dimensions is exactly. actually quite an interesting prospect, you know. But yeah. I don't know, it's just weird. Like, I really, I really expected big things of this. And I think that's half the problem. We all expected yeah. something a little bit more than what this actually was. Yeah, it just... <sighs> I I, no, I mean, I think it's valid to say that we're both, while yes, we're both grown ups, we do still have like the child's like sense of wonder and especially about, I hate to say toys, but toys, action figures, all that kind of okay, stuff. Okay, look, admittedly, I still buy Amiibo. Yeah, see? So, and we're both in that same boat, <laughs> that Amiibo. <boat>. Um <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not ashamed. I, I will. I buy... Deadpool action figures as soon as I see them, um, yep. and I always will, and yep. uh, and I have pop vinyl figures all over the place. Of course. Ugh. I know, but I love them. Um, yeah, fine, okay. <laughs> but I know, I know they're not, they're not universally yeah. received, but yeah. uh, even at that, and I will actually, well, I hate to say play with my toys because I don't think that comes across as... <laughs> That's exactly what I meant. Yeah, yeah but, I, I don't. Look, look, uh-huh. just don't go any further with that. Just yep. that's it. Uh, <laughs> this does not look fun to play with. No, it doesn't. And just as a last note, actually, mm-hmm. I was in a comic book shop yesterday mm-hmm. in London. Yeah. Uh, a really quite a large one, actually. And I saw a couple of Deadpool comics on there and I was so close <laughs> to buying you one. <laughs> And then remembered I didn't want to spend my money on Deadpool. <laughs> oh, oh, so sorry. Funny. So I apologize. So oh, that, that's too funny. Because I'm like, I'm like, you probably own them. Well, I probably actually do. I haven't bought yeah. any of the the la- last series that they did. Uh, yeah. Just because I'm so scared it's gonna be warped through the mainstream yeah. acceptance. But yeah, I shouldn't say that because historically i have liked what they've done with the character and uh fair enough yeah it's so funny because i think when you and i very first start talking about deadpool i was like you've got to read the originals and i think you told me you had <laughs> you yeah, have read I them have. and it's I'm just not, not your thing yeah <laughs> no i like four full breaking but like the the whole yeah, the his whole, whole shtick is, is it yeah. like that and i just i just find it one note and that's yeah. just <laughs> For me, that's just a personal thing. Like, yeah, I mean that's that's you know, how it goes. Like all breaking when it's done right. Uh, yeah, I I am a sucker for it. At at fair time. enough. 
No, I am. I am an right. outright a sucker for it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this comic would have cost me 10 quid, to be oh fair. Oh, my so it would gosh. Have been, it was an older one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. It was oh. up on a wall, and I couldn't touch it, and I was like, oh, I really to get this but no i don't want to spend 10 quid on a deadpool no, comic never do that never do that um <clears throat> all right yeah so yeah, yeah i yeah. think we've discussed this long. <laughs> yep so, okay on well, to the the next next bit next do i have to read news. this honestly you this, do. I, I hate this story i know it has to be but, talked about though I put this I put this together and it was even just like, oh my god, why do we have to talk about this? I know, I know. It's bad. So but it uh, has to be done. With, yeah, it does, it does. So, sorry, cough button. That's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> so um how do I gauge this without annoying people that have already been annoyed by this? Look, it I don't. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm pulling the band aid off. Yep. Guerrilla Games announces after months of speculation that Horizon Zero Dawn is coming to the PC. <sighs> Read the next sign. <laughs> the news causes many Sony <laughs> diehard fans to send messages of hate to the developers. I. Guys. <laughs> it's... it's awful. That is awful. Have you seen the Some, videos? Some it's, of these are fake, clearly. Yeah, they've got to be. I mean, I say that, but yet I do know how fanboys and girls, yep. you know, they take fan it people. really, fan people, um, take it very seriously. Uh, they do. I've seen this r ridiculous amounts of, like, stupidity when it comes to fan fanism. Yeah, because that, I remember even seeing someone get an iPhone, like, I don't know, I think it was a 7, maybe, uh, bought it and then, like, set it on fire or something, you know, because they were like, I hate Apple so much that I'm doing this. And I was like, you're an idiot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, but... you see you see these people are, like, diehard Microsoft fans who mm -hmm. are just, like, absolutely trash, like, Apple for their, like, yeah. their Macs and stuff like that or, you know, diehard... Um... Back in the day, it was like diehard Nintendo fans just absolutely pooping all over Sega and all that sort yeah. of thing, or and vice versa. You know, we all remember the whole, you know, Sega does what Nintendo <laughs> don't and yeah. stokes the whole console war thing. Yeah. You know, it, it, it was targeted advertisement. And it really worked, you know. It got those fans into a frenzy, and it was just ridiculous. This one one makes no sense this, though it's just I, I don't know. it's gonna only benefit guerrilla games and people who loved horizon zero dawn which is a very uh it's it's a great game it's not played cool. it it's it's fun i played the demo um but i've watched lots of let's players uh yeah it's fun and i, I like it and i don't understand uh, there's also been some cosplay out of it that i like too and, um, well, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, Aloy's become a huge yeah. cosplay icon now. I, exactly. Um, and I, I just can't... I think we've talked before many times how, being that I'm on the spectrum, uh, I tend to think black and white, concrete thoughts, yep. and it is very unemotional thoughts. Um, mm -hmm. So... For me, I can't find the line of logic of why they're upset. Um, because I, just, I don't get do it. Do you want to know the only thing I saw? And I posted it on our Discord site, and mm -hmm. it made it did make some sense to some people because mm -hmm. the box art from 2017 says only on PlayStation. Yeah, in 2017. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's my point. Yeah. Times have changed. People move on. Sony yeah. have clearly seen what Microsoft are doing with the whole Xbox integration over PC and all that sort of thing. Simultaneous releases on PC, mm -hmm. same day as the Xbox. They clearly see PC as an actual legitimate platform as well now. Exactly. Um... And it's been the longest time. Obviously, Steam's lived on its own for a long period of time. Yes. People are now starting to actually see the benefits of having games on PC. Because yep. there are some PC gamers out there who just don't own consoles at all. So it's, why yeah. do they want to miss out on these great games that are coming out? You know, just because they don't they refuse to spend three to four hundred pounds or five hundred dollars on a new console. Well, and then I mean again, logic. The idea that 
it, it kind of goes back to, to the way I was thinking about the X-Men. You know, the, the more exposure is good because yeah, that means that Guerrilla Games will get more funding to produce more uh, games. More content. Yeah, more content. Yeah. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. And Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. I mean... Just uh, there'll be a couple of things that I want to preface this with, with later on. I'll make a prediction on one of the things. But I actually think as a result of this, this is helping funding um, Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's, a little that's... bit more so. Yeah. Oh, yeah um, it, might, it might even fund the new Killzone game because people oh, seem to love Killzone. Right. Yes. Yes. Um, so they could. it could be that they're having two teams that are you know, working on either game. Also, the fact is, the ex-studio head of Guerrilla Games is now the head of Sony, of, of yeah. PlayStation division. Yeah. <laughs> so why, that makes a heck of a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, freaking lutely does. Yes. Yeah. And also, just as, just as a point, we've obviously got Death Stranding coming to PC later on in the year. Yeah. Which, this makes sense, Guerrilla Games gave them the engine. Yeah. So why right. not put the work in on a, on a PC port when they're already doing it for Death Stranding, mm -hmm. kind of. Yep, absolutely. You know, the, that, that Decimer engine is absolutely superb and they should be using it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Why? freaking -lutely. What's the problem, people? Yep, I really Just because don't get it. Oh, my butt hurt because Sony <laughs> knows. Sony knows. Sony are about the money. They don't yeah. care about the play. Well, they do care about the players in some respect. Oh well, yeah, but, but they not. This yeah. is more money for them. They're not going to turn this down at all. Heck no, absolutely. Sony has a division that works on consumer electronics. Yes, that's right. You know, PCs and laptops. Yeah. What's the problem? I don't get it. I, don't I really get it. don't. I don't like. I'm, I'm racking my uh, brain trying to figure out what, what set them off. I mean, I don't know. Then you have to ask yourself. It's one thing I have to. I usually ask myself about any news story or anything that gets a lot of coverage is how yeah. much of this is being hyped, you know, by mm. other people or by news entities or just you know just yeah more clout. I mean, you know how much of that is real and how yeah, i much, don't know really yeah is artificial just because they want the attention you know i don't know yeah, i don't know cool. that's very cynical and i am a cynical person which i do apologize for but uh... yeah i mean i mean jason schreier of kotaku did put a tweet out that said I, I hope some of you are happy that you know, sent me all these death threats. You know, this oh. is true. This is real. And he's just stunking the fans of the flames. Yeah. yeah. You know? And by the way, he didn't block me, which I'm really disappointed <laughs> about. That that will be your goal for 2020. Get blocked by uh, Jason. <laughs> yeah, Kamiya. I'm really trying. But Hideki Kamiya did. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got that badge of honor. Nice. Very nice. I have now, all because of Jen's recommendation of just writing hi in Japanese. That's awesome. <laughs> it's so funny. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll take my 50 Gs for that. Oh, that's good. Good, good, good. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, we've so talked crazy. about we've talked about the fan culture before, toxic fandom, and yeah. it isn't something that I can relate to. But having said that. As always, we love to hear you guys' input. I love to see a of point course. of view. Like, if you are a listener who is angry about this, um, yeah. I would love to know why. I would love, 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 love to hear, read your point of view. And, yeah, I would as well. I yeah. really am really interested to see what what goes through the mind frame of yeah. a fanboy I really, or fangirl. Or, yeah, I want to understand is what it comes down to. Uh, yeah, because I don't get it myself yeah, either. Yeah, because this is, this is out of my realm of normal patterns of thinking. And I like to yeah. explore other people's. And so, yeah, let us let us know. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's the interesting study of behavioral modification and stuff yeah. like that. You know, it's oh, just very interesting, Ugh. you know, and social engineering. Yeah, uh, I heard something this week that, that uh, blew my mind. Uh, which on. is silly. It's silly, but it's the silly things that do that. Um, yeah. 
Pavlov's dog or Pavlov's oh. response. Yep. Is literally a response that you have towards hearing Pavlov's dog. <laughs> yep. That's actually kind of true. That's like the brain named itself. And I'm just like, oh no, I can't, I can't. <laughs> yeah, because as soon as you mentioned Pavlov's dog, the first that thing I thought was, oh, Big Bang is... Theory. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, it's a Pavlovian response. Yeah. To the phrase Pavlov's what? dog. I love that. Yeah. But it's also that... freaking me out. But <laughs> Yeah, why does that make me hungry, though? Ah, <laughs> uh, um. Yes, I, right. I, 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 I was going to make a joke, but no, we're being good. There's no jokes being made there. No. Um, no. But uh, we'll keep moving on because we did want to kind of wrap this one up quick. Uh, yeah. Pete's but voice we've got is going. One... And yeah, yeah, we've got, we've still got, yeah, stuff. But... One more thing to cover. One yes. more thing. Yes. Cheers. Well, it's kind of the main topic, but it's also a news story. So yeah. we'll we'll cover this quite briefly because we have covered this in the last episode and in previous episodes gone yeah. by. But officially, three years cancelled. Yes, it is now um, official. Uh, and in terms of the UK audience, EGX Res, which was due yeah. to happen on uh, next week, which is let me just pull the calendar up, which is the twentieth and the twenty first, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first, I believe. Yeah. That is right. Uh, has now actually been postponed until August. Yep. As has the Dublin Comic Con. And uh, yep. that will be interesting because as most of you probably have figured out, I have a convention myself. And it's yeah. in August. So that's, that's why I wanted I, to bring it up. I specifically, <laughs> I, yes, I specifically picked August because no one was having a convention then. And uh, yeah. Now it looks like everyone's convention will be on at the same time. But <sighs> there, is, there is a good thing about this that I thought of the other day, actually. Sure, sure. The fact that EGX Res is now in August and a few mm -hmm. others, they would have done the pre-preparation already, yeah. meaning that they're probably not going to do any further stuff. Yeah. Meaning that every guest that they had there mm -hmm. is already pre-booked for that. Yeah. Meaning yeah. that if they want to pull out, they can pull out and they can go to other conventions if they want to. Yes. It's up to, totally up to them. So this might mean that a lot more people are very interested in pulling away from a, an event that they originally were planning to go to in March. Meaning that, you know, they don't mm -hmm. want to go to it in August. Yeah. It just frees their time up a little bit more, which is not a problem, really, yeah. I guess. Come to, our, but, come to our convention in Belfast. Come to yeah, there's come to Fanfare in Belfast. Yes. Yep. I'm, I'm holding a smash tournament. Yep. We're doing a live show. Yes. Giveaways will be out the wazoo. Uh, yeah. And if you want to see Kylie steaming drunk, then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's sure, the place. That, that was supposed to be our little secret. <laughs> Never. No. Never. No. I don't, I don't yeah. have secrets from our audience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it will be a fun time and i can tell you now I'm, i always have to be very careful at what i can reveal and what i can't but um yep. there is a cosplay contingency there uh that's very yep. very well known um and they yep. are very excited and will be there ready to take photos with everyone so amazing stuff yeah yeah it may even play a little game uh for, uh, for to raise money for charity so yeah, Yay. it'll be, all be amazing. So yeah, just come come along to Fanfail Belfast. Yes, 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 yes. So we'll we'll put some more details out. But mm -hmm. I did want to talk about E3's cancellation and what yeah. it actually has in terms of the the future yeah. for them. Absolutely. Because I know a lot of other podcasts have probably covered it. A lot of news outlets have covered mm -hmm. it. But I'm probably uh, I'm not sitting on the fence on this one. I'm just going to yeah. let you know that I think E3 is done do for too. good. We we kind of briefly mentioned our theories last week um yeah about that and now for me it's kind of solidified as i can tell for you as well um yeah, yeah i think i think this is yeah e3's i hate to say no longer needed but not in its current form it's it's surplus to requirements in its current format yeah yeah absolutely wow that sounds like real business speak, i know that was yeah <laughs> It so sounds like I'm just giving you your P45. <laughs> you are surplus the requirements. Oh, gosh. That would be so sad. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, but yeah. no, 
I, yeah, I mean, if you haven't listened to last week's episode, definitely go give it a listen because I think that our theories on this have now been born out. That comes to fruition. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, I mean, it was kind of obvious, to be fair. We saw the rumbling. Exactly. going on we also saw some big publications also revealing the news a little bit too early yes where people were going mad about it It was like oh my cancelled it's cancelled it's cancelled and it wasn't official until (laughs) the esa actually put that out i'm still not pleased about that i just again reiterating i have a journalism background i just don't like things that aren't fact based um and that, yeah, wasn't, that was speculation, you know? And I, it was I still speculation. Like yeah. I mean, yeah, okay, people like Kotaku and Polygon did put rumor in the front of it. Yeah, and that was fine, but... Yeah, I get that. But there were a lot of outlets certainly yeah. turning around and going... Cancelled. Yeah, like, it's like, like, like no. definitely cancelled. But then no, 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 but then they'd preface the article by saying an official announcement yeah. from the ESA is coming Post-code. at this time. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, oh my God, really? It was like the same thing that we talked about last week with yeah. um, Tech Radar. And, yes, or in the last few weeks, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> They're all blending together. <laughs> yeah, they are a little yeah. bit because this has been gone going for weeks now. Yeah, it's it just, has. It has. I, I've sort of become a bit bored of the news cycle in terms of this sort of stuff. It's well, really that is that, that is called uh, crud. I told you off air what it was called. Something fatigue. Uh, <laughs> concern, yeah, is yeah. it concern fatigue? Something like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I I know what you mean. It's yeah. Just, you hear it about it so much that you just sort of blank the news out. You're just like, oh, God. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay, I get it. All right, yeah. You're sort of just banging me on the head with a hammer yeah, here. Exactly, and now, yeah. You know, but, but uh... what does this mean in terms of everything? Because I've seen a lot of, of the developers that were due to be there now coming mm-hmm. out and putting statements out about digital presentations. That, that is, that to me... I'm still calling that. That is the future. It's going to be yeah, it, Nintendo 100%. Direct, but for everyone. Yeah, 100%. I don't yeah. disagree with you. I think that is a really good idea. Um, they clearly had a lot of surprises up up their sleeve that they don't want to just mm-hmm. go and miss. They yes. don't want to just put it out in a tweet or a YouTube yes, video. Yes, exactly. Something like that. So yeah. the easiest way to do all of that is to put it into a direct like presentation. Yeah. And just have it have at it basically absolutely yeah so long as it's not done like what ea do in the last couple of years oh gosh oh yeah Oof. Oof. i mean i'll be interested to see what square enix are doing i'll be interested to see what yeah. devolver are doing because i think yeah. devolver already had the digital presence every anyway yeah, yeah. yeah. so i think they're just gonna go ahead and just, just do their normal press conference which is gonna yeah. be hilarious <laughs> um yeah, uh, see, okay, well, okay. Um, again, we're trying to stay positive and everything, so uh, if I make an off-color joke, it's only out of goodness. Oh, God. Yeah. But uh, what I was going to say was it's actually a good time for them, for, for all the companies to put out their directs and stuff. I'm just going to call them directs for now. Yeah, um, sure. Because, I mean, a lot of us do have some time off on our hands. And I'm not really saying that as a joke. I'm actually saying that as a practicality. Um, Mm. We do. A lot of us are working from home. Uh, Some of us are off sick. uh, And we can just watch from the comfort of our living rooms and stuff. Or bedrooms. um, Or couch. Uh, (laughs) Wherever you want to get it. Even on the toilet. Yeah, even on the toilet. Uh, that's very true. Um, the future of gaming. Uh, no, that's the that is now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, Look, the day that I get a switch dock and a TV <laughs> in, my, in my toilet, I'm living life. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I I do think this is actually a good time over the next couple of weeks to explore this. Um, yeah. I just do. I, I'm sorry, but I just do. I think it's also a good time for things like Netflix and it, Disney yep. Plus, all the streaming services to put out their best content because you've got people at home who don't normally stay at home. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, even lot I... Hmm. Remote working. A lot more people yeah. are remote working nowadays. You know, yep. a lot of people will have an iPad on. My, oh, yeah. my mum does it a lot where oh, she'll yeah. have the radio on and the iPad while yes. she's working. 
That's exactly you know? what I do. So <laughs> how many people are going to be sitting there mm -hmm. watching a, a direct style video whilst they're doing their work? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's going to be amazing to watch. Yeah. I've done it. I mean, yeah. admittedly, like I'm allowed to use my phone at work, which is quite handy. That is very good, um, actually. So when the Animal Crossing Direct was out, yeah. I was watching that whilst I was working, That's which great. is quite cool. That's excellent. But, you know, uh, but just to preface this with mm -hmm. a small joke here, Nintendo yeah. still haven't announced their Direct yet. <laughs> <laughs> Damn uh... them. <laughs> um, all right, we're already past the hour mark so <laughs> i think we all we should probably start to wrap up we should we've got yeah. one question yes yes we've got one question for our, and it is the most our... important question that we'll ever get from yes no no i can't even say <laughs> it face. i'm sorry so this comes courtesy of friend of the show yes. literally friend of the show absolutely jennifer at lady underscore sugar sugar cube on twitter yes how much do you like ryan <laughs> if you already yep. follow jen you have seen her her gif a palooza of ryan <laughs> <laughs> i'm so glad you put it that way that is a lot <laughs> Uh, they're they're very entertaining. Uh, well, to be fair, all you have to do is listen back to the episode with her oh, a couple so of weeks funny. ago and hear hear us reacting live to Gif a Palooza. Yes, exactly. She's the queen of gifts, one hundred percent. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. And then and then there. Yeah. So to be fair, I, I'm going to be honest here. And Nintendo, if you're out there listening, take note. I just didn't have any kind of feelings to, to, towards Rayhan because, I don't know, he was just another trainer I, for me. Yeah. But the more Jin has talked about him and it's played him now. up, I'm like, yeah, he is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, would, I wouldn't agree or disagree. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm not going to say I'd say my opinions otherwise, but let's... Yes, that's, I, that's I will... you sold the game. <laughs> no, it, no. Uh, yeah, I did. I got. I had no more joy that I could get no, I, out of it, to be honest. I get that. Yeah, if, if I don't no. have replayability, I usually get rid of it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I, I didn't want to get my Nintendo Switch Online account banned because of some <laughs> dodgy raids that were going on. I uh, really didn't want to get involved in yeah, stuff. I so I, I removed myself from that situation very, <laughs> very quickly. To which uh, I'm going to remove myself away from this situation by saying... <laughs> Jennifer, you are now blocked on both my personal <laughs> and the Rapid Reviews Radio podcast account. <laughs> You've done um, both. And now I can I can perfectly visualize her GIF response. So, <laughs> which I won't see. <laughs> um, oh, that's too funny. But uh, okay, yeah. So, well, to answer, I guess uh, to answer is I actually like him more than I did. So thanks to Jen. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. I probably yeah. do as well. But he is kind. He's all right. <laughs> I, I am still bothered by his Squirtle front chest piece. I mean, I it's, know it's a hoodie, yeah, but still. I, I know, I know. It I, just looks weird. It is supposed to be like dragon skin. I get it. Yeah, but it's just Squirtle's belly. <laughs> yeah, it's like someone skinned a Squirtle. Ah. Uh, okay but, yeah so that that's gonna wrap up this very interesting and unusual episode of rapid reviews yeah. radio but we promise there is a uh reason behind it so yep. uh please join us this week anytime you see uh rapid review ah, rapid reviews radio uh tweeting out get on there fast you guys are gonna love it um we've got yeah. something really cooked up for you that is we just love it. We just love presenting content yeah. to you guys. And yeah, of course. Yeah. It will also be uh, sent out via the Rapid Reviews yes. uh, Twitter as well, you know, yeah. the main the main account. The main account for sure. Uh, be sure yeah. you're following that. So, And that's it at Rapid does. Reviews UK on Twitter. Uh, yep. And the podcast is at RR Radio Pod um, on Twitter mm -hmm. as well. Um and of course, follow us for for interesting uh, uh, announcements that go along yeah. with it, that coincide yeah, with cause, it. Yeah, because uh, we'll be sharing this out as well for our personal stuff. Yes, this is, it's big. This is a labor of love from it all is, of us. It is. I'm so excited. 
Um, and you can so you can find me at at Kylie Tagreet, K I L E Y T H G R E E T. And Pete, what about your Twitter? You can find me at Pete Beckett one, and Beckett is B E C K E double T, and that's the number one. Yeah. Um, and guys, I'm not kidding. You need to you need to be following us. Uh, you can also catch us on the main Rapid Reviews UK Facebook page. Um, yep. And then a very important but new address. Yeah, so I would say keep your eye to this, especially on Thursday next week. Yep. Or so this coming Thursday, which is the 19th. Yep. Keep your eye locked to twitch.tv slash rrradiopod. Yes. And that's all we will say about that one. And <laughs> if you <laughs> if you need to contact us for any reason, um, you know, to ask us questions, to give us your views, uh, to tell us we're doing great or not so great, we're happy for either either or. Um, yeah. You can email those at pod... Uh, let me pronounce that correctly. Podcast at rapidreviewsuk.com. <laughs> And yeah. um, again, I just want to say before we do our last housekeeping, um, you know, sure. always, always, always appreciate you guys stopping by, giving us a listen. Like, you don't have to do that. And it really, um, I, I just, it's just really awesome. It's awesome that yeah. you get joy from this. And we love doing it. We love doing that, you know, for you. And we will continue to do it. And we do it completely, uh, voluntarily, unpaid. Um so always yeah always so in fact it costs us money to do this (laughs) actually it does (laughs) yeah so hosting fees and editing programs and all that sort of thing but we do it because we love it we absolutely love the engagement we have with you listeners you know yes absolutely and the the interactions we have via the social media and all that and let's be honest we love talking about games oh gosh yeah yeah um so why we're here yeah, exactly. Well, I, I want to say one thing is that, uh, you know, if you do really enjoy this, and we hope that you do, uh, you know, always give us a like, a share, a follow, a, a shout out, anything, because, again, we don't pay for anything, uh, like for advertising or anything like that. It's only word of yeah. mouth. So it's all you guys sure. that do everything. But we've got a good uh, or an interesting, oh, I keep saying interesting. We've got an exciting announcement. Yep. Uh, yes. Shall I take it? Yeah, you take it. Okay, so we're um, we're currently doing a giveaway on the a um, Twitter page for Ori and the Will of the Wisps digital code. That's right, guys. Which recently just came out this week. Yeah. So we want you to share with us either via that or via the Rapid Reviews Radio mm-hmm. podcast Twitter, which we explained a minute ago. Yes. Your best moments playing a platformer because ori and the will of the wisp is a platformer game a so beautiful platformer it's mm. i've just started playing blind forest that game is stunning yeah absolutely ah so, so yeah. if you haven't played ori go and play ori it's on game pass but get yourself involved in this mm-hmm. competition to win yourself a free copy of the game yes absolutely um, yeah, and... All the details will be over at, at Rapid Reviews UK on Twitter. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, you know, get over there. Go, go, go. Well, don't go, go just now. yet go. because yeah, we're we gonna have finish off. one last thing. So, once again, thank you for stopping, gu- that, stopping by. Uh, stopping guy. Stopping guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Pete, hit us with that game fact. Okay. So, I, I, I searched high and low for a really obscure one here. <laughs> And this one I thought was really cool. So, do you know about the game Scribblenauts? Yes. Very enjoyable. I um, like it a lot. Haven't played it, but... Uh, really? Apparently, yeah. I, I didn't know. I didn't really own a DS that much, to be oh, honest. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, that makes sense. So, um, they almost launched the game with an incredibly strange bug. Really? Oh, goodness. This is, oh, goodness. I mean, this was found in the AI final finalization stages of bug test but if you glued a piece of bacon on the back of the lion it would try to eat itself <laughs> oh that's great oh that is awesome oh that would have been hilarious oh oh anyway, it is so cool 
That would have been great. Thank you guys for stopping by and we will talk to you. Well, you may see us or hear from us this week, but we'll definitely be talking to you on Rapid Reviews Radio next week. Bye. Bye.